This will take 10 minutes. Let's hit the Meadowlands racetrack on the way home. I've got a betting system based on horse penis size. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Devin, what can I do for you? I think we're way past that, Jack. Let's be honest with each other. I'll go first. I'm gay and I want your job. Devin, I'm straighter than you are gay and I leave particles of guys like you in my wind. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. Well, you should be. Let's just see how it all shakes out in the meeting. Yeah. Let's. Oh, by the way, little slim wasted birdie in a page jacket told me you got nothing. You're going down. No, Devin. I don't do that. I knew that I had to align myself with something more powerful than GE. And since American Idol's not on until January, that left the United States government. So I spent all last fall raising money, worming my way into the Obama's inner circle. Oh my God, Malia, he did not say that. Let's text him now. After the election, I could have had any ambassadorship I wanted. Even to the world's gayest country, Ireland. The uh, board won't be a problem. Well, again, congratulations. Why do I smell self-tanning cream and teeth whitener? Thanks. Hi, Jack. Devin. Once they cast Clay Aiken and Spam a lot, I knew it was only a matter of time before you showed up here. Oh, when I'm living here and running this company, I'll go see him every week until Spam a lot closes. Or he leaves the show. Karate! 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 Kenneth, what are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood. Huh. Do you want me to dance for you? Uh, that's the business. Whew. Yeah. Traffic on the twos. Top deck of the GW bridge. Yep. Tunnel. Touch your belt buckle. Oh, touch the peacock. Construction on the merit causing slow. Oh, you're a peacock. The time is now 7:52. 7:52. You warlock. You came to entrance me. Donaghy sent you into the crevasse. What? You played this all wrong. You want to humiliate me? You want to destroy me? You should have walked in here with a check. Again, what? Sure, maybe you've ruined my career. Maybe you'll never see me again. But if you had forced me to take government bailout money, you'd be my boss. <gasps> oh, my. You'd have to come down to Washington, report to me like a little schoolboy. Your hand's sticky from candy. And the worst part is, I wouldn't even want the money. No, you wouldn't. Jack Donaghy taking welfare, it'd kill you. There's so many jobs at stake. You'd have to take it. I'd make you. I'd make you take it all. Well, I'd roll over and let you give it to me. I'm honestly not trying to make this sound gay. No one is. It's just happening. One word to the president and I own you. I own this office. I own that fancy little fellow outside. It'd kill me. But I'd do it for the company. Hey, Sasha, is your dad home? What? You have to invite everyone to your party, even Zach S. Ah! Ah. Mr. Banks, I didn't see you there. Well, I've been following you for the better part of an hour, Kenneth. Does Mr. Donaghy know you're here? I don't need Jack's permission, Kenneth. I'm gonna be running this place soon. And there are gonna be some changes to the pages uniform, certainly. Mr. Banks, Mr. Donaghy eats guys like you as part of a healthy breakfast. And I'm sure you think he's weak right now, but he's only gotten stronger since his heart attack. Heart attack? Really? Right, Mr. D? High five. Not now? Okay.
Kathy, are you ready to come out now? There she is. Hey, you. Hey, funny. Kathy, I know this is a lot to take in, but your father made a promise to my friend, so what can we do to get that check right now? And that's why I'm so thrilled to introduce NBC's new mascot, Majelica the Unicorn. It's wondrous. Uh, indeed. Back to you, Thomas. Okay. We now return to our coverage of that train derailment in California. It's about time, Kashmir. Did you find Shanna's Boppy? Was it at Music Adventures? Bex, what's become of you? Nothing. These are babies. They're organ farms. Don't look at me. <laughs> Devin, explain the gabies. I'm a house husband now. Happy? I married a shiny black dancer named Kashmir, and we mixed our sperm together so no one would know whose baby is whose. Now, have you had your fun looking at the freak? I'm here to offer an olive branch. I'm working with Cable Town now, and we've acquired a network called Twinks. I could use someone on it full time, a subordinate. <laughs> You came all the way out here to Brooklyn to offer me, Banks, a job. You must be desperate, Jack. Twinks must be exploding and not in a good way. You thought that I would lick your boots, but you need me. So now I'm gonna make you let me lick your boots. I'll keep you on a very tight leash. Fantastic, continue. I will not case set you up again, so I'll be very clear. You'll be under me, and if there's one slip up, your ass is mine. You couldn't resist coming to see how far I'd fallen, but that was your mistake. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. No, you are the spider. I am the sun. I dry up all the rain. Yes, freeing me, the spider, to climb up the spout again. You bastard. Now, who wants some num-nums? Pedal faster, fatties. God, I love how much you disgust me. Class dismissed. Really, Banks? Spin class? Isn't that a bit of a gay cliche? You're the gay one. Wanting to be with a woman? How gay is that? You win sex against a man. That's as straight as it gets. Who designed your bathroom? It's exquisite. I did, you son of a bitch. I'm excellent at rearranging bathrooms. Now get out of here. You got what you wanted. I just wanted to say thank you, Jack. Very impressive. Can't imagine that your boss, Hank Cooper, was all that happy about the logo change. Uh, we'll see. Our new slogan, NBC. We have a magical horse, is testing, uh... Okay. Oh, I also wanted to say that I was lying when I said that this wasn't a business play. Banks, you're out of the game. That's true. And I've admitted defeat for our generation, but for the next generation. Well, thanks to you, the Banks boys are way ahead. All the favors that you called in, you would have used next year for little Lippy. Liddy. Is that even a name? In Brooklyn, I know like six Lippies. Doesn't matter. You just mortgage your daughter's future to get out of a little jam at work. My mommy and me group would really judge your parenting. Especially Lippy's mother. Which Lippy? Lippy D. Oh, God. Liddy might have to go to public school. See you in 30 years, Jack. I wonder what Liddy will be doing with her degree from SUNY. Don't even say it. Oneonta. You, Jacket. Just so you know, if you hear this sound at your funeral, it's just me laughing. <laughs> I can't hear you, Banks. Are you saying you want me to help you? Oh. And if I do, you'll stop trying to destroy me in front of guys? Oh. That is what you're saying, right? Here we go. <sighs> you're insane. That's it. I quit. No more football. Jack wins. Quitter! Oh, God! Oh. Just like the Greeks.